Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for having me here today, and especially Dr. Kent for this very exciting uh, conference, the May celebration for International Day of the Nurse and Midwife. And I'm um, very excited to be here. I, uh, my name is Elaine Brennan. I work for Northwell Health. I'm the Executive Director for International and Pharma Ventures. But more importantly, my new role as well includes um, women's initiatives. And some, some of these I'll be going through uh, throughout the presentation. I just wanted to give you a quick snapshot of what who Northwell Health is and uh, the breadth and So the geographical map expanding as you can see, Long Island, and then to the left, the tiny island of Manhattan, and north into Westchester, Phelps, and so on. So we have 23 health systems, a number of tertiary ones you can see here in the slide, but over, I'd say close to over a thousand ambulatory centers and growing every day. I think the numbers seem to change and increase in, in size and capacity. So more importantly, we also have the whole continuum of care from birth all the way through to death and including um, our educational facilities, such as the Hofstra Northwell Health School for Graduate Nursing and Physician Assistants. We have our Hofstra Medical School, and also we have a very prestigious Feinstein Research Institute with hundreds of researchers at any one time. Uh, we also recently have um, launched our undergrad program for nursing. But I think the message here is that we cover a geographical area of 10 million lives, but at any one time, we have anywhere per year from 2.5 to 4 million discharges. Our health system is led by Mr. Michael Dowling, who's also an Irishman, and um, it is certainly not a criteria for uh, employment at Northwell to have to be Irish, but um, he is certainly a very well known leader at this point, especially during COVID. Um, so then, just to give you a snapshot of my role within the health system, uh, I run the Pharma Ventures International Program, and Pharma Ventures being our engagement with the pharma biotech industry from a very much above brand level, where we can impact programs such as patient quality outcomes, um, population health studies and initiatives, having a more strategic and synergistic approach to our partnerships with, with pharma and biotech. And Left opportunities in the interim. Our international program then, we partner with a lot of trade boards for different countries. I'm sure many of you here on the phone are very familiar with Enterprise Ireland. And our vision there is that we would grow this globally so that we get an opportunity to look at innovation from different countries. And certainly different countries do have areas of expertise that uh, we certainly at Northwell are very excited to get a look at. These, uh, these companies that we meet then, if they pass the criteria of doing business in the United States, we've sort of cornered it off to have three verticals for, for engaging with Northwell as a large health system. One being clinical research, clinical trials, and another being straight up procurement if they have a product that's already got the right price, the right quality that we, we're engaged with, it goes through our procurement department. And then we have our ventures where we actually take an equity position or invest. We have a fund here at Northwell and we do investment. Um, what's also exciting that I'm gonna go into in further detail is the new women's initiative that we are working diligently on. And the goal is that we would engage enlightened women philanthropists around the world to look at a destination like Northwell as a great opportunity to invest or partner or donate to women's initiatives, given the fact that we have a CATS Women's Institute led by Dr. Stacey Rosen, who is really spearheading the new way women should be treated from a clinical perspective as well, because our bodies are different and therefore react differently to medications, et cetera. So um, Dr. Rosen is, is one of our leaders in that capacity. I'm gonna to touch on the Women Who Dared Art collection, which sort of inspired this whole initiative and how that led to the creation of Nurse Heroes. So just on the sort of way that I look at the world through my lens is that we have external partners and you can see here from the slide, the likes of J&J &J and Merck, great partners um, with that Farm Adventures arm. We then have the Strategic International Partnership and you can see Enterprise Ireland is with the big logo there in the center. Uh, we also have partnerships with the Israeli Innovation Authority, with Canada, et cetera. And you can see some of them listed here. 
The, um, the more recent ones that have spoiled and partnered with respect to the women's initiatives is the Carlisle Global Partners. Um, and Alex Charlton being the leader of that, he and I partnered on many initiatives, but the one that has sort of materialized in the last year and a half is the Women Who Dared. And this Women Who Dared is actually the world's largest private female artist only collection spanning seven continents going back to 400 BC. And it's a collection of close to 400 pieces. It's by a, a philanthropist a couple from California. Sandy and Bill donated this to Northwell and for the use of, of um, healing through the arts, etc. But last year, this time last year, we had to stall the movement and shipment of the art across the country from California to Northwell. So in the interim, Alex and I were saying we don't want to lose the opportunity for 2020. It's an important year for women. And we created what's called Nurse Heroes. It's the 200 year anniversary, or it was the 200 year anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birth, but also the 100 year anniversary of the suffragette movement. So I'll talk a little bit about that further, but then internally, so in order to execute of the partner internally and partnerally with those that actually um, help execute and help materialize and, and make it happen. So I have very close ties with a lot of the groups listed here, as I mentioned earlier, the Women's Cats Institute. Um, we obviously have the pharmacy, specialty pharmacy, procurement, etc. So just to talk a little bit about Nurse Heroes, it was created, as I said last year, um, for the very purpose of acknowledging, the mission was to acknowledge and to honor and celebrate the nurses globally, especially during a pandemic, which certainly highlighted the need to also the opportunity for our society to pay attention, especially the fact that there's going to be a shortage of nurses in the workforce. And one of the reasons I guess that I was invited today was to, to just draw attention to the fact I am not clinical, I am not a nurse, but the importance and the mission and the vision to create Nurse Heroes was because of what was happening during COVID, in addition to us all knowing that nurses are the backbone of healthcare. And that you know, really spurred on a lot of our external partners who have nothing to do with healthcare. Actually, a lot of these are film producers or philanthropists and or business people in banks, etc. And a lot of what's happened, the choir, the Nurse Hero organization itself has happened on the back of non-clinical people acknowledging and realizing globally there's an issue. We need to create some support systems. We need to raise money. We need to raise funds. We need to draw attention to this very important group spanning from and including um, all sorts of nurses in every capacity from mental health nurses all the way through to intellectual disability nurses nurse, and we certainly have um, and you know given with northwell over 60 percent of our population are females and nurses being the bulk so we created nurseheroes.org we, um, our goal was to launch a concert around Thanksgiving Day, November 2020. And here's the line of And none of these, I might add, um, were paid. There was, I actually had a big budget of zero dollars to execute this. So we were very fortunate, as I mentioned early, earlier, people from all over the world including celebrities like these stars, just want to help. They understand this is a very important issue. And we put it all together and created what I called Nurse Heroes, Nurse Live, which is still, um, you can still see that concert actually on the website. Uh, it's a fabulous concert. And I know that you've earlier heard from our Nurse Hero Choir, the Northwell Health Nurse Hero Choir, which was put together literally within 48 hours where uh, the producer said, you need to find 50 nurses who can sing. No small feat, but let me tell you, they have not an now singing and I'm going to be able to disclose which show, but we're invited onto a globally recognized competition to, to perform and uh, to compete. So you'll hear more about that in the, in the future. But you can see here that this is just a testimony to the importance of the nursing community resonating with people outside and people especially you know celebrities and people of influence who want to help 
Uh, you've already heard from the Nurse Hero Choir. I think what's also really important here, as I mentioned, this was really done in record time, all these celebrities coming together, the production of this coming together. And you can see here that it resulted in 1.5 billion hits. Another partner that made their free thumb writers where, you know, none of this was funded, but it just, again, testimony to the importance and how it's resonating globally. So you can see some great celebrities here. I can personally tell you, um, as we were preparing weekly with different meetings and different production meetings, Gloria and Emilio Estefan were on every call. They were so committed to this and still are. You can see the Black IP, Celine Dion, all of these people giving their time for, for, uh, for free. So then from a social media perspective, you can see that there have been over 27 million impressions on the slide. Probably um, to put at the bottom right there is the real real is a high end luxury consignment store online consignment store, and they donated this as well to us. There are three of our nurses at Northwell and Lenox Hill actually, and the masks were um, also donated by another philanthropist. We have here you can see Jada Pinkett Smith on uh, a new very uh, I guess it's a it's a well known brand now as well uh, the talk show. They uh, end this presentation where they also recognize, and I believe her mother is a nurse. So leveraging and tapping into the emotions and those who are sensitive or have personal um, connections to nursing is also sort of strategic, but very, very important. Um, and you can see some other names here, Whoopi Goldberg, etc. Again, the uh, the concert itself went live online through Facebook Live, NBC, Peacock, etc. So we got almost, I believe, over 11 million hits and views for the concert on, on uh, this Thanksgiving day. What's important in this slide is that a lot of these brands and names that you see here are top tier organizations and companies who again, either donated resources financially or their actual um, technology. So NBC Peacock aired the concert. None of this was done with, um, without people just really sitting up, paying attention to this very important thing. You can see women who body action being part of the inspiration for, for Nurse Heroes. So Northwell, obviously we were part of the founders of Nurse Heroes, so we were pretty dominant, I would say, throughout this whole concert. Lennox Hill being one of our health systems, Michael Dowling, as I mentioned earlier, being um, our CEO and president. So the joy that it gave to our nurses internally was that we uh, got to celebrate, but also see that the big stars, Wonder, Celine, I know that, as I mentioned earlier, they've gone on to do bigger, bigger things. And, and I think there's gonna be some exciting news coming from that. Again, these are nurses. Um, from our health system, recruited and back to work the next day. Another lovely, wonderful event that came was that a jewelry designer with Love Darling helped create this elegant line of jewelry that we have now um, donated many pieces to our nurses for their great uh, And you can see their pieces with the, the pin down at the lower right. We look at corporations maybe donating this to nurses all over the world. And again, um, another great cause, but another great example of people's generosity through this, the COVID crisis and beyond. Um, one of the pieces that really resonates with me or the, the events that we set up was a Nurse Hero Art Contest and anyone can enter from all over the world. And, in, and we did indeed get uh, submissions from Africa, from, from everywhere, from nurses themselves, from children of nurses, from parents of nurses. And it really is, if you go into the nursehero.org website, you'll see some of these things. Um, it was a fabulous way for people to donate, either from a therapeutic perspective, their time, but also it's not all about funding either. So I think this was this is something that's taking off and obviously you can see now the correlation between that and the women who dared art contest 
So only two weeks ago, um, we had the great event to celebrate the first donation of 30 scholarships to our nurse heroes. Um, and these scholarships are for education and professional advancement of nurses. So this is a pure example of from, from just an idea less than a year ago has come all of these amazing outputs. And, uh, and also, you know, certainly within our nursing community in Northwell, there's a lot of excitement. We've various different donations from the likes of Tory Birch all the way through to, to I think even a meat process and factory donated some, some meat. So people do want to give support. And um, I think it's, it's turned out to be one of um, certainly my proudest career moves in being part of this very important initiative and mission. And I'm going to leave it there, and this will give you an opportunity to watch Jada Pinkett Smith with some words about her mom and the importance of this mission. Thank you all, and I'll be around for the Q&A section afterwards. Hey guys, Gam and Jada here to support the Nurse Heroes Foundation, who's doing some incredible work to help support our nurses. And just before Gammy became a Red Table Talk host, she herself was a nurse. So in our family, we understand the important jobs of nurses. Nurses thank you. rock. Yes, thank you for all that you do. So for more information, head over to nurseheroes.org or text N-U-R-S-E to 707070 to donate.